Hello, my name is Paul and today I am in this beautiful museum called the Wallace Collection. The Wallace Collection has hundreds of amazing old paintings hanging on these colourful walls. And when we look closer, each painting tells a story. The story you are about to hear is inspired by this painting. It's the one to the left, Flowers in a Vase, painted by Jan van Heysen. The story will also feature the cup you see on the right. That cup once belonged to a real Chinese emperor. Okay, now it's time for the story. Enjoy. Gushi, Gushi, the story of the empty pot. Gushi, Gushi, the story of the empty pot. Once upon a time in China, there was a boy called Chang. Chang was clever. He had a good heart, but more than anything, he loved flowers. Tulips. Roses. Poppies. Crown imperial. Apple blossom. Chang, he loved them all. At that time in China, there was a mighty the emperor was old, but he didn't have any children. So who was going to be emperor after him? Well, this emperor, he too loved flowers. So he decided to have a competition. He sent out invites to all the boys and girls in China, asking them to come to his palace. And there, each of them would be given a flower seed. Now, whoever could grow the most beautiful flower from their seed, that person would become the next emperor. Chang, the boy in our story, he decided to take on the challenge. And so he grabbed an empty pot and he filled it up with moss and compost and topsoil. And then he set off for the Emperor's palace. Gushi, Gushi, the story of the empty pot. Gushi, Gushi, the story of the empty When Chang came to the emperor's palace, there were thousands of boys and girls there, and each of them was holding a pot. The palace doors, they opened, and out came the emperor holding a cup. A golden cup, decorated with gemstones and pearls and kingfisher feathers. And in this cup were lots of flower seeds. The emperor, he placed a seed in each pot and so too in Chang's pot. Chang, he knew just what to do. He pressed the seed into the soil and he covered it with a light coating to keep it warm. And then he went back Every single day, Chang looked after his seed. He watered it. Not too much water, not too little. And he protected the seed from dust and mold and insects. And then he waited. And he waited. But 
nothing grew in his pot. Maybe the seed needs some more sun, thought Chang, and he moved the pot onto a sunny windowsill. And then he waited. But again, nothing grew in the pot. Maybe this room is too warm, he thought, and so he moved the pot into a cooler room, and again he waited. But again, nothing happened. Nothing grew in Chang's pot. Gu Shi, Gu Shi, the story of the empty pot. Gu Shi, Gu Shi, the story of the empty pot. And now it was time to go back to the palace. Nothing had grown in Chang's pot, and he was so upset. His mother came to speak to him, and she said, Don't be upset, Chang. You have tried your best, and that's all anyone can do. Why don't you go and see the emperor and tell him what happened? Tell him the truth. That's the only thing you have to do. So Chang, he went to the emperor's palace. But when he got there, he could hardly believe what he was seeing. All the boys and girls were there. But their pots were not empty. No, in their pots grew the most beautiful flowers. Purple auriculus. Brilliant white peonies. And tulips, roses, poppies. Any flower that you can imagine. doors they opened and out came the emperor ready to inspect the flowers. Beautiful. Stunning. What an incredible tulip. And then the emperor walked up to Chang and he said, young man, where is your flower? Chang, he swallowed. I failed, he said. Emperor, I tried so hard to grow a flower for you, but no matter how hard I tried, nothing grew in my pot. I'm so sorry. But then something strange happened. The emperor didn't get angry. Instead, a smile spread across his face. And the smile was brighter than all of the flowers around. The emperor looked at Chang, grabbed his hand and said, You will be the next emperor. Me, said Chang. But I was the only one who didn't grow a flower. Listen, said the emperor. Before I handed out the flower seeds, I put all of them in boiling water. None of the seeds could have grown a flower. The boys and girls here have all cheated. They were so eager to please me. They were so desperate to become the next emperor that they forgot about the most important thing of all. To tell the truth. But you didn't. And therefore, Chang, you will become my successor. And so it was that the boy with the empty pot became the emperor of China. Wu Shi, Wu Shi, the story of the emperor.
empty pot. Gushi, gushi, the story of the empty pot. I hope you enjoyed this story from the Wallace Collection. Bye-bye.